So this is the supportive sewers group. We're here today to make pillows and drain bags for mastectomy patients at York District Hospital. Uh, we make them for free, so they're donated to the hospital and the breast care nurses or the ward staff will give them out to people that have had a mastectomy or um, a mammoplasty or a lumpectomy following a breast cancer diagnosis. I was actually given a pillow when I had an operation in another hospital and uh, a cafe that we used to have some of our meetings at um, but also did sewing workshops and they suggested it and helped us out to set it all up um, and then since then we've moved here to the Viking Loom and used their facilities. That was in uh, February 2016. So we, we started off with 25 sewers uh, or volunteers doing various different jobs um, and now we have a, a regular group of people that come uh, and help us um, so we usually have about seven to ten people here on a, on a weekday. Massively important, the feedback that we're getting from the breast care nurses and from the patients are, is that uh, these pillows especially come at just the right time when they're at the lowest to give them a, a real good pick you up. Um, so they're physically, they're helping people out and emotionally as well. Right, so it's a heart shape, so it's the perfect shape to pop under your arm. It keeps the arm away from all of the surgical incisions, from uh, all of the places that need healing. Um, it can be a very uncomfortable area, especially when you've, you've had a, 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 a mastectomy and uh, maybe a lymph node clearance, so that whole area is really, really sensitive. So keeping that arm away, especially when you're sleeping, uh, on your, most people will sleep on their sides and they won't quite know where to put their arms, so putting that pillow there gives them that extra bit of support comfort. Uh, it's also brilliant for tra travelling home after an operation, keeps the seatbelt away from, um, from that really sensitive and painful area. Uh, and it also being heart shaped it, it represents a bit of love that we're sending to them um, and you know, making sure that they know that they're not alone, not, not as isolated as they think they might be when things are really at their worst. But the feedback that we get is that they feel loved and uh, supported and that they know that there's support out there should they need it from Breast Friends York. Um, each pillow will have uh, a, a card with all of our details and a leaflet showing what we do and, and giving them all the information they need about the group. We had to give them some instructions about how to use this pillow and uh, that they weren't allowed to bring it back because it can't be reused because it's in such a sensitive intimate area and to avoid cross-infection. So we needed to give them those um, bits of information but we didn't really want it to be in an informative, official kind of way. So I tried my best to put it into a light-hearted Purple Ronnie style poem. Um, so I, did, I wrote the poem myself um, and um, struggled a little bit to get the word cross-infection in there but I, I just about managed it and got away with it. We're always on the lookout for people, sewers or non-sewers, that would like to be part of a community project, that would like to come along as and when they wish, um, to come and help. Um, there's lots of jobs that need doing, so there's machine sewing, there's hand stitching, uh, stuffers, calligraphers to write the messages, um, people to package, people to cut out. So there's lots of jobs and also, you know, the all important tea maker and, and cake provider. But also donations of 100% cotton that is um, new 100% cotton, um, ribbon, buttons, anything like that that, that can help. Uh, we also try, we're attempting to become self-funding so we are in the future planning uh, a sale of homemade items that all of the members have, have made themselves.